Every Godzilla fan is aware of Gigan as a powerful and recurring enemy of the King of the Monsters. He is the most ferocious, ruthless, and sadistic villain in the franchise. He was designed to be a uniquely shaped and richly colored dinosaur, which gave him his iconic look. In this video, we will explore Gigan's story in detail and figure out his origin alongside tracing his menacing reign spanning over the Showa, Heisei, Millennium, and Reiwa eras. We will also explore the story and powers of Gigan Rex and Gigan Miles, so keep watching. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. Tracing the Origin of Gigan Bloodthirsty and vicious Gigan's story begins in the Showa series. Half monster and half cyborg, this brutal opponent of Godzilla was born out of the twisted intentions of an alien race known as Nebulans, or M Space Hunter Nebula aliens, who were attempting to attack the Earth by using him and King Ghidorah as their pawns. Although the exact history of Gigan's origin is foggy, he is often traced as an alien dinosaur who was modified into a cyborg by the Nebulans as their ultimate weapon. Gigan was first seen in the 1972 movie entitled Godzilla vs. Gigan, in which the Nebulans deployed Gigan to Earth to conquer the planet. Nebulans' conquest was set into motion in 1973. They sent out a signal into outer space which summoned a diamond and a fiery asteroid on Earth. King Ghidorah emerged from the fire, and shortly afterwards, in a violent internal explosion, Gigan emerged from the diamond. The cybernetic dinosaur with hammer claw hands reappears in Godzilla Final Wars as an ancient cyborg kaiju whom the Exilians had sent to Earth around 12,000 years ago. In that period, Gigan was defeated by Mothra and turned into a mummy. It is the year 20XX. Far off the coast of Hokkaido, the mummified body of Gigan was discovered by the Earth Defense Force, and they were researching it in their warehouse. The Exilians from Planet X arrive on Earth and teleport the monsters away with trickery, but when their plans are surfaced, the Exilians unleash Gigan for a full-fledged invasion. Additionally, Gigan appears in the Godzilla anime trilogy in which he is found as a hibernating monster slumbering on the seabed off the coast of Siberia. He first appears in Godzilla Project Mechagodzilla, a Japanese tie-in novel for the Godzilla City on the Edge of Battle anime. Gigan was infused with nanometals by an extraterrestrial race called Billa Saludo, who controlled Gigan as a cybernetic biological weapon against Godzilla. The Menacing Saga of Gigan Gigan's saga begins in the Showa era and spans up to the Reiwa era, the duration of which he was controlled by various extraterrestrials. The M Space Hunter Nebula aliens had disguised themselves as humans and been plotting to overtake Earth. Their base of operations was disguised as a theme park called World Children's Land, whose central attraction was the Monster Island, which had a Godzilla-shaped tower. With the use of special action tapes, these these aliens controlled the mind of Gigan along with King Ghidorah's from the Godzilla Tower. The invasion had already begun before the alien's disguise was realized by Earthlings. Godzilla departs with Anguirus as the defender. A savage battle breaks out between Godzilla and Gigan in Tokyo Bay, where Gigan serves an aerial buzzsaw attack which critically injures Godzilla. With his attacks, Gigan pushed Godzilla near the Godzilla Tower, which further injured Godzilla with laser beams. Next, Gigan attacked Anguirus with his saw and injured him too. With an unexpected turn, the Godzilla Tower gets destroyed with TNT, and the aliens lose their mind control over Gigan and King Ghidorah. The monsters are left disoriented and perplexed. Godzilla recovers and uses the disorientation in his favor. Gigan and Ghidorah were eventually forced to escape into outer space. 
One year passes. Gigan is once again summoned by the Nebulans, but this time he has to serve the Cetopians, an underground race, in their battle against the surface world. Gigan joins the battle with Cetopian's guardian Megalon, who is fighting against Jet Jaguar, a conscious robot. Both the Kaijus have overpowered the robot, but soon Godzilla entered the arena as Jet Jaguar's ally. Gigan suffered defeat when Jaguar broke his arm. Afterwards, he escaped back into space. Gigan's liberty did not last long, as he was soon captured by the Garogas, another evil alien race who fit explosive charges in Gigan's claws, and a set of parachutes was attached to Gigan because he was having difficulty in slowing down his flight after the last battle. Gigan was then sent to Earth to battle the Zone Fighter, a superhuman and nemesis of the Garogas. Gigan was yet again locked in a battle with Godzilla, who had come to save the Zone Fighter. Gigan feigned his death and attempted a sneak attack on Godzilla, but the Zone Fighter knocked him out with a thunderbolt. Gigan manages to heal himself and detonates his claw explosive against Zone's head, but Zone manages to survive and destroys Gigan's explosives with his proton beam and serves a finishing blow to Gigan, leading to an explosion which ends Gigan's reign. In the Heisei era, Gigan is still with the M Space Hunter Nebula aliens. It was also revealed that Gigan lived with several other kaijus on an island known as Godzilla Land, where he usually hung around with King Ghidorah and Mogira. An Exilian alien named Zagrith desired to conquer the Godzilla Island in the South Pacific. Her failure was noticed by the Nebulans, who sent Gigan to help her. When Godzilla arrives, this cybernetic monster runs a scan on him and flies away without bothering to fight, which gravely annoys Zagrith. But Gigan had actually challenged Godzilla for a fight at sunrise. Both the monsters, in fact, sit in the field through the night curiously awaiting the sunrise. As the first morning sun rays hit the battlefield, Gigan reflects them with his blades and blinds Godzilla to gain an advantage. Godzilla tumbles down in a landslide in defeat and escapes. Gigan later challenges Godzilla once again for a final battle. Much to Gigan's surprise, Godzilla uses a new attack known as Radioactive Heat Ray and then spins his tail to knock down Gigan, who then falls unconscious. Later in time, Gigan returns when a battle between Godzilla, Destoroya, and Megalon is going on. Unexpectedly, Gigan fights on Godzilla's side and brings down Megalon. Gigan flies off after assisting Godzilla to bury the enemies in a cave. Gigan is later seen training himself on Matongo Island. A shapeshifter named Dororin disrupts Gigan's meditation while posing as Godzilla. A similar attack is made on Godzilla on the Godzilla Island. Gigan arrives on the island and a fight begins between him and Godzilla. As their battle goes on, Dororin fights with Mechagodzilla. Mogira arrives seeking Godzilla's help and the latter ceases his fight with Gigan to assist in a more important battle. Gigan also follows who serves the last blow on Dororin and then flies away. In 20XX of the Millennium Era, mummified Gigan is reawakened by the Exilians and then the good old Godzilla vs. Gigan began. He traps Godzilla in barbed wires and pulls him towards his buzzsaw, but Godzilla defends with his atomic breath and defeats Gigan. Afterwards, the Exilians repair and upgrade Gigan's body with a pair of chainsaws. Modified Gigan then brings down Mothra by slicing its wings and proceeds to help Monster X against Godzilla. Mothra manages to make a comeback and knocks down Gigan and Monster X. Gigan shoots discs and finishes Mothra for good with his laser beams and strikes the victory pose, but the discs boomerang and end up slicing Gigan's head. In the Rewa era, Gigan's clan is introduced with King Gigander, Mother Gagarian, and Gigan's two siblings, Lady Gigana and Girly Garland. Gigan arrives on Earth to prove his mettle and lands on Godzilla Island where he challenges his clan's rival 
battle the Godzilla clan. Gigan is defeated and buried underground, but Godzilla Jr. digs him out and an unexpected friendship begins. Later, when King Ghidorah attacks, Gigan defends Jr. and earns respect from the Godzilla clan. An army of Gigans led by another unique Gigan attacks Japan in the same era. Their story is discussed in a later section of this video as Gigan Rex and Gigan Miles, so keep watching. Gigan appears in the sky when Godzilla is proceeding to his next target city. He lands on the ground and jostles with Godzilla until the latter uses his atomic breath, but Gigan defends himself with his claws. He counterattacks with his laser beam and continuously blasts him, and then Godzilla charges towards him. Gigan was not stepping back either. He slashes Godzilla's face with his forearm blades, but Godzilla ducks himself in defense and a nearby building gets sliced instead. A mighty punch by Godzilla follows, which lands directly on the face of Gigan. His laser aperture suffers damage and begins to spark. This head-on battle is still far away from the conclusion. Gigan might have panicked when his aperture did not shoot beams, but his rage fueled his feet and charged towards Godzilla with all his might. He gushes both his claws into the thick hide of Godzilla and pulls him into his buzzsaw. Gigan manages to realize his tactical move and greatly wounds the torso of Godzilla, who then tumbles backwards, breaking through a bridge. The mighty Godzilla lay powerless on the ground, and Gigan menacingly approached him, flaunting his sharp blades. Gigan pulls a final fatal blow, but Godzilla suddenly grabs his arms and pulls him back to his feet. The tables have turned. In the same way that Gigan had captured and wounded Godzilla, now Godzilla was restraining Gigan closely. Godzilla charges his atomic breath and mercilessly shoots Gigan, who is standing at point-blank distance. Gigan falls onto the ground and erupts into an explosion, suffering that grave fate which he had planned for Godzilla. World Destroying Powers and Abilities of Gigan Our cybernetic space dinosaur boasts a circular saw weapon on his frontal abdominal region, large steel hooks for hands and smaller versions for toes, and he sports three fin-like spines on his back which run into spikes covering his tail. This monstrous atrocity can also fly despite his 60,000 metric tons weighing body. With his anti-gravity flight, Gigan swooshes through the air at the speed of Mach 3. In outer space, Gigan travels being encased in a diamond which crosses the speed of light and accelerates up to Mach 400. Such furious speed is better utilized by him for interstellar travels than in battles. Seldomly, when Gigan does use flight in battles, he steals all counterattack opportunities by continuously striking with aerial slams. Besides, Gigan also possesses teleportation powers, although they are only seen in video games. The rotating blades on Gigan's abdomen are made of an alien alloy of extreme durability and sharpness. With this buzzsaw attack, Gigan drew out Godzilla's blood in his debut. Gigan pairs this power with a hit-and-run tactic, lacerating his opponents as he swifts past them. With his scythe-like forearms, Gigan approaches his opponents like a grim reaper and stabs them. After Garoga's modifications, Gigan could also cause explosions on coming in contact with an enemy, but this attack reverses damage on Gigan also. His scythes were further improved with the grappling hooks which fished enemies right into his buzzsaw. These blades were later replaced with bloody chainsaws after Gigan's initial defeat against Godzilla. His spike-covered tail was also an effective melee attack weapon. Gigan underwent modifications in Godzilla Final Wars and returned with razor disc shooting slots on his torso. This weapon weapon proved to be fatal, as they could boomerang back. Gigan ended up slicing off his own head with this new weapon. A misleading weapon was his laser, equipped as an aperture on his forehead. We call it misleading because it was never weaponized in the movies, but widely illustrated in the posters. Gigan finally uses his laser attack in Final Wars, but it is shot from his eyes instead of the aperture. In fact, the aperture had been replaced with a ruby. Gigan's laser is also unconventional. Unlike other lasers that shoot a direct single beam, Gigan's cluster light beam strikes the target straight and declusters into multiple energy blasts right before taking the hit, causing a saturated attack on multiple points simultaneously. 
Gigan is also seen to spew flames from his mouth like a dragon, but this power is constricted to the video games. This cybernetic monster also has regenerative powers. With his ninja revival technique, he revitalized himself in the zone fighter battles. He is dubbed as an immortal, but often this survival technique is said to have been a play dead strategy instead of an ability. Still, we see his regenerative powers at play in the Godzilla Project Mechagodzilla movie. He revitalizes his cells and recovers from Godzilla's ultimate weapon, the atomic breath. But Godzilla is king for for a reason, and Atomic Breath is his ultimate weapon for some extraordinary power. Godzilla sends a powerful blast of his Atomic Breath against which Gigan's regenerative powers fail. In the same movie, Godzilla also possesses missile launchers deployed on his arms. Who are Gigan Rex and Gigan Miles? Before we head into the character's origin and history, let's talk briefly about their inception. A Godzilla-themed competition was launched in 2019 by Toho and Alphaboat. The grand prize was the winner's dream Godzilla project being adopted by Toho. A short film entitled G vs. G by Takuya Uenishi grabbed the winner's prize. Gigan Rex and Gigan Miles then appeared in the adopted film entitled G vs. G2, which was later changed to Gigan vs. Gigan Rex. In Latin, Rex refers to king, whereas Miles means soldier. Hence, Gigan Miles are variants of the original Gigan and are headed by the Gigan Rex. Since these monsters were created in a fan-generated short movie, they lack a proper origin story, and we meet them directly in action. During the Reiwa era, when a quarter century had passed since Godzilla's last appearance, waves of blue cyborg kaijus resembling Gigan appeared. An attack on Japan ensued. The Japanese Self-Defense Force, or JSDF, sent out F-12 fighter jets but were soon outmaneuvered by the Gigan variants. From a city engulfed in black smoke, Godzilla rises in opposition. Something falls from the sky with a loud blast, and a red Gigan variant stands tall. Clearly, the red variant is the king known as Gigan Rex, who was rampaging in Japan with his blue soldiers, now known as Gigan Miles. Without any wings, Gigan Miles can levitate in the air and easily maneuver killer attacks and beams mid-flight. They more closely resemble the original Gigan with their scythe hands, rotary blade on the belly, and scimitar blades for toes. Just like Gigan, their blades are also extremely powerful. The laser beam every fan saw in the posters is finally seen in action with Gigan Miles, who can shoot a yellow straight laser from their forehead apertures, just like how it was illustrated in the official posters of the original Gigan. They also possess the original Gigan's unique buzzsaw on their torsos. These crimson blades can also be extended for a more fatal attack. On the command of Gigan Rex, the yellow portion of Miles' belly retracts back and reveals a complex mechanism which extends the buzzsaw outward. Their tail is also spearheaded for melee attacks. Their forehead apertures also act as a telepathic signal catcher with which Gigan Rex communicates and commands the Gigan Miles. Gigan Rex, also known as the Beast of Sorabito, is distinctively recognized for the whip-slash type melee weapon known as the Rex Blades. His forearm scythe blades detach to unleash the bloody whips spiked like a chainsaw on both edges. With great durability, this chain and sickle weapon can cut through buildings and block Godzilla's atomic breath without being damaged. Instead of a rotary blade, Gigan Rex is equipped with a beam attack on his chest. With a marvelous yellow beam shot from the aperture on his chest, he can even shake Godzilla off his feet. It can also be powered up into a thicker and crimson beam to overpower his opponents. Along with forearms and toes, his tail end is also bladed. This tail could be a strategic weapon, but we never see it in action except when Godzilla toppled him over and he used it as an anchor to keep himself upright. His strength also pierced through the building he was thrown upon. Like the Gigan Miles, he can also let 
levitate easily into the air and execute graceful attack moves. He can propel through the air or hover in midair. His flight can be extremely fast, since we barely managed to catch a glimpse of him when he landed on the battlefield. The power that makes him Rex is his telepathy, with which he commands and controls the miles. The gem on his forehead is probably the core of this strength, since it glows when telepathic moves are used. This power is also crucial for his supercharged Crimson Beam, which is acquired when he telepathically extracts Crimson Core orbs from the Miles. These cores are actually the probable hearts of the Miles, without which they instantly die. Now, coming back to the battle, Gigan Miles had sliced through jets, obliterated the land, and attempted attacks on Godzilla before Rex arrived. Two Gigan Miles had even captured Godzilla in unison, but Godzilla took them down with blasts. This is when Rex descended and whipped out his blades. With the moves of a samurai, he cuts through buildings to attack Godzilla, but the latter pulls him with his own blades. Godzilla threw his atomic breath, which Gigan Rex blocked with his forearm blades. Then Gigan Miles arrived and attacked with their crimson blades on the command of Rex. Godzilla was falling down on his knees, when suddenly he blasted the Miles away and set the vicinity ablaze in a great fire. Gigan Rex absorbed six Miles' core, and like a powerful mage, he blasted his super charged crimson beam against Godzilla's atomic breath in a fierce battle of beams. With a bright flash, Rex is taken down, and Godzilla stands tall as the actual king of the monsters. Mind-blowing appearances of Gigan in other forms of media. Gigan has appeared in over a dozen comics, including those adapted into movies. We catch him in the Zone Fighter manga adaptation, where he was controlled by the Garogas, and in the Godzilla vs. Megalon promotional comic for the US, in which he was known as Borodan, after being acquired by Megalon. He then appears as Neo Gigan in the short manga series entitled Godzilla King of the Monsters. His body was modified into a mecha cyborg weapon piloted from the inside of his head. In Godzilla Legends, Gigan is merely mentioned as a strong adversary. In Godzilla Part 9, Gigan rampages in Hong Kong and fights with enemies like Rodan and Anguirus. Gigan partners up with King Ghidorah for mass destruction once again in the Half Century War comic. Damage is not stopping Gigan because he comes back as an upgraded cyborg modified by the Cryog aliens. Now gear back in time to the 13th century when Gigan fell to the control of a dragon master named Zhenzhen Khan. Gigan can be seen fighting alongside Mongolian troops in this comic entitled Godzilla Race Across Time. Exilians are again witnessed as controllers of Gigan in Godzilla vs. the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Gigan was last seen brutally slicing Godzilla in the fifth installment of the Godzilla Rivals comic. Or, to be precise, he was last captured as a silhouette in the tenth installment of the series. Marvelous Verdict Gigan is among the most iconic and cool monsters and is widely loved for his design. He is a dinosaur who fights like a samurai and serves fatal blows that overpower Godzilla, making him Godzilla's greatest rival even if he goofily ends up slicing off his own head. With his sadistic and goofy personality, he has earned great admiration and become a fan favorite. Let us know in the comments what you love about Gigan.